hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a node.js application which will be calculating the age from the date of birth in different kind of formats it will be printing out in years months days it will also print it in hours minutes and seconds so basically there is a module in node.js for building this kind of application so this is called as uh, find age so if you want to download all the source code i have given the link in the video description the link will be there inside video description this is the full link of the blog post so if you want all the source code go to the video description link so now to build this application you need to make sure that you have node.js installed on your computer so now let me show you how to do this so i will go to the projects directory so i will open command line here and make a new directory which is age calculator project i will cd into this directory cd into this directory so the first thing that we need to do is that let me close this window here we need to open it inside visual studio code text editor this is the editor i am just using here you can use any text editor of your choice and now first of all what we need to do is that we need to install make a package.json file this will contain the information about your project now we need to install this library which is npmi find age so this is the name of the module it will hardly take five seconds and it will download inside your dependency section now we will make our index.js file the starting point of the application we will include this module we will require it simply find age so what this module does we just need to provide the date of birth here so the documentation is you can see here in order to get the full age there is a method out there get sorry you can see full age so here you will provide your date of birth here let's suppose what 11 then followed by the month then followed by the year so now you can console log it like this so this will return the age in years months and days the standard format so now to run this application you simply need to type here node index.js so now it will see it will print out 24 years and 25 days you will see now it has printed out and uh, i think yes this is a format here you will see 24 years and 25 days Similarly, you can print out in various other formats as well. So basically, this is the second way. If you only want it to print out in uh, in months, only in months. So you can just use in months method here like this. If you run this, you will find 262 months and 25 days. So in this way you can just see and also in hours in minutes also you can print it so console log so various methods in days also if you only want in days then we have uh, I think in hours and lastly we have in we also have in minutes and lastly we have seconds also so all the format this module contains so you have seen various online tools which 
provide the same functionality you just input your date of birth and it will show you the age in various kinds of formats so if i run this you will see 24 years 262 months 8791 days this much hours this much of minutes and this much of seconds so this is all good in command line but we will be building it in a pure application in browser so that we can use it to do this you need to install express express is a web framework and also you need to install ejs which is a template engine so just install these two dependencies it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds so you can see it has successfully installed it let me just all remove this and first of all import express we need to require it express we need to make app variable initialize it to the express instance and use sorry app dot get in the home route so whenever we load the page for the very first time we need to load the template which will be index template so this needs to be present inside the views so we need to create the views directory here inside this we will create index dot ejs so if you have studied ejs this is a standard way by which you can insert your template so we can say age calculator so you can see we also need to set the view engine which is pretty simple like this we can set this this line is very much important ejs that's it so one other dependency you can install this which is node1 which will automatically restart your application whenever you make any sort of changes so this is a very handy dependency now go to package.json add the start script so put a comma start so node1 index.js that's it so now we can simply say here npm npm run start that's it so this will start node one here so this will watch for any sort of changes you make it will automatically restart the application so now we can load this application at a app dot listen we can start this at 5000 and we can say app is listening on app is listening on port 5000 so you will see it will say app is listening on port 5000 so we can open this localhost 5000 so you will see this is our template so now we simply need a simple input uh, date picker where we can pick our date so i have given the link in the video description so if you have to download all the source code you can do that I will simply copy it paste it here so I will remove the action tab here we don't need the action that's it we need the name here so we can provide the name attribute which is birthday that's it and input type submit button is there so once again if I load the application here So now you will see your date picker which is there with the help of this you can pick any sort of date here if you click submit it should display the dates or oh, it, it should display your age in various formats for that to happen you should be attaching the method to it or post and the action should go to get age that's it so we need to put this uh, make this post request here app dot post slash get age so this will be request response and uh, after that we need to get the uh, birth date of the user we can use this by request dot body dot birthday the name attribute which we have given here 
you can see this with the name attribute we have given now to catch this value like this we need to install uh, include a module which is body parser module which is a built-in dependency you did not have to install it body dash parser that's it we also need to use this middleware app dot use body parser dot url encoded inside this we need to write extended to false and again app dot use body parser dot json so write these two lines which are very much necessary just write these two lines and now you can catch the value like this so we can console of the value which is worth that's it just make it birth date and uh, now if you submit this get age this is a post request so now it will automatically restart the application now if you reload the application pick a date here which is let's suppose I pick a birth date here like this If I click submit here, you will see. If you check the console here, now you will see it will dis it will display your birthday that is selected by the user, which is 26th January 2015. So it has successfully printed out it in the console. Now what we want is that we need to return the display the age of the user. So what we can do is that after this form ends, we can say inside the heading the age of user in different formats like this we can say that and uh, inside h2 we can say age in uh, full age we can say full age then we can say age in months then we can say age in so various uh, formats that this module supports you can just check here uh, where is the module you can go to the npmjs website here just search for this module which is find age like this so this was the module oh, where is the module yeah this is the module here so it supports in hours as well so age in hours age in minutes and lastly age in age in seconds so just write this template here now we can insert di dynamic variables that we can we, are, we will be sending through node.js in express to this template so here we can display like we can display the dynamic variable of ejs like this let me just show you how we can do this so Oh, sorry this percentage sign equal to and then the variable name which is full age we will be giving this variable name inside the node.js file here and now to insert this we can put this like this so this is the how we do this in ejs we will insert dynamic variables so month age we can do this like this we can do this our age then we can say this from as minutes age and lastly we can say this one to be variable name will be seconds age that's it so basically this is a way by which we can we will be inserting these dynamic variables inside this template now we need to send this like this now to send this 
we will write this line here which will be response dot render then the followed by the name of the file where we need to send out these variables so name of the file is index dot ejs we don't write the extension so we will just write index here then put a comma and set up curly brackets so here we will put the variable names so first first variable we have given is full age so we will put this full age here full age colon and then followed by we will call the module here find age dot get sorry full age we will pass the very vari uh, variable here which is birth date that's it so this will store this inside full age similarly we need to put a comma here in order to send out very uh, uh, multiple variables so then we have our uh, this variable the second variable which is month age so month h so this will be find h in months so we can say we can again pass the birth date which is like this we can do this in the next line so the next variable is our h our h colon so again we can call find h so in hours and we can pass here the birth date put a comma then we have the next variable which is uh, minutes age so this will be find age in minutes and then we can pass the birth date again then we again have another variable which will be the last variable which is second sage second sage so once again we will use the find age module so this now has this in seconds we will pass the birth date so one value we, we have mi missed here which is the age in days so we have missed this age in days so we can just pass it here so the variable name will be days age like this so just add this we have missed this age in days so once again after this one we can pass this we can say days age this is the variable days age we are inserting so this will once again be find age dot the method is in days so we can pass our birth date that's it so now the application seems to be complete now we can run this application so if i once again go to so it is saying some full age is not defined so oh, sorry one thing i forgot to mention here because we are sending these variables we need to send out the default value for these variables whenever we load it for the very first time because we are loading this template in the get request we need to pass the default values so put a curly brackets and here we need to initialize the default value so this will be nothing here so we need to do this for all the variables which will be full age month age this will be again nothing then we have days age again nothing hours age to nothing minutes age so this is mandatory because we need to provide the default value then we got second age to nothing that's it so after doing that i think the problem will be solved so once again if i reload the application it is saying our age is not defined sorry this needs to be our not ours
so once again if i reload the application you will see now this is a template which is ready here now we simply need to select the date of birth here from this date picker so once i if i select the date of birth click on submit so it is saying that input date isn't correct so let me just see here if i console log so it is saying that the format of the date is not correct because the year is coming first then it is then the month is coming then it is the day so we need to convert to the correct format which this module support this is a format that it supports so let me just convert date to in javascript so we can easily do this so so you can see you can use this code snippet to convert to the date that it supports here so i think this is a method that we can use here so we can define this method here outside so so we can see here let me just see per date is equal to so we can call this method here get formatted date and we can pass the birth date that's it so this will return this inside the format that we want this module support so again we can console log birth date so we can say local host 5000 so we can again pick a date here so it is saying date dot get full year is not a function let me just see what this has happened here just wait guys i'm just seeing what is the problem here so you just need to convert the date which is selected in this format so you can say select date in in html so let me just see how to set input type date in this format so i think there should be an attribute which allows you to set this so 
so we want this month date and year month date yes so input type date so i think this in this template we can set a value attribute here So there is a value attribute we can set here. So twenty six, sorry, eleven. So just add this value attribute inside your template file here. Again, refresh the application. So again, if you click submit, let me remove this function here. 